Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a really common uh, error that we see a lot nowadays with Gmail and doing email out of Niagara. Um, and this error message uh, is because of a change in Gmail security policy as of June 8th of 2022, and it requires that all SMTP connections use app passwords instead of your typical account password. Um, we use SMTP to send emails in Niagara. Uh, this is considered by a lot of the email providers nowadays to be a legacy authentication method or a legacy means of um, connecting to their services. Uh, Niagara has more modern authentication methods that are coming in the future for email, uh, just not there yet. So in the meantime, we have to make use of this workaround that Gmail gives us. So that workaround is to use what they call an app password. An app password is just a single-use password that Gmail will generate for you, and you use it along with your uh, account name or your email address with Gmail. Uh, to log in and send emails from less secure applications. Um, the benefits of using these app passwords are that they're easy, easily revoked and they protect your actual account password. So they generate this app password for you and it's only um, valid for very specific use cases. And in our case, that use case is to send out emails. So the process looks a little bit like this. We're going to log into our Google account. Uh, we're going to turn on two-factor authentication. If it's not on already, on my account, it's already on. And then we're going to go to the app passwords. We're going to generate that password. We're going to paste it into Niagara, and then we're going to be good to go. So let's jump into Niagara. So I'm logged in to Niagara here. And you can see I've got an outgoing email account, and it's got our typical Gmail setup. Uh, we're using port 587. We've got TLS turned on, uh, authentication turned on, and then I've got my normal account and password. So we're getting this error message that says authentication failed. Your gut reaction will probably be, oh, I mistyped in my password. But if you scroll across here a little bit, you'll see that the error message actually says that an application-specific password is required. And then the learn more portion of that um, is cut off in this dialog. You can see it if you go into your application director, uh, but we've got all the information that you need in the PDF along with this video, so you don't need to go there. Uh, so that means we need to generate our app password. So to do that, we're going to get out of Niagara. In my case, I'm going to get out of this remote desktop. I'm going to pull up um, the link to this Google account here. And now I'm in my Google account, and I'm going to go over to the security tab. And then you'll see I already have um, a couple of app passwords that were created. Uh, in the recent security activity. But if we scroll down to our signing in with Google, we're going to make sure that our two-step uh, verification is already turned on. If it's not, you'll click in here, follow the directions, and get that turned on. Once that's turned on, you go into your app passwords. You're going to sign in again to verify that you are who uh, Google thinks you are. And you'll get this list of app passwords that you've created in the past. And then you'll be able to create a new one. So it's going to ask you to select an application. Uh, we're not any of the default ones here, so we're going to choose other. We're just going to call this uh, Niagara Test for our test purposes. We're going to generate it, and then it's going to generate this password for you. We're going to copy this. Don't worry, I've already turned off this password when you're watching this video. Uh, and then we're going to go back into Niagara. And we're going to paste that password in. Uh, it helps if I do this. And we're going to save. And we're going to wait a little bit here for uh, the poll to go through. 
and you can see that it actually just, as I said that, our queue went from zero to one, and that email sent, our status is okay, and we pulled successfully last. Uh, so that is how you make use of Gmail's new settings uh, for app passwords uh, for sending out email. As Niagara adds in additional functionality that makes use of more modern uh, authentication methods, uh, we'll have additional videos on doing that. Um, but until then, uh, stay subscribed to our videos. And uh, if you don't have an account already, create one over at pptechcenter.com. Thanks.